That's when trees begin to bring forth new life. And like we said two Sundays ago, the almond tree is the first tree that begins to blossom. It's the first tree that begins to bring forth leaves. They actually call it the watchman tree because in fact, in February, while all trees are still sleeping, the almond begins to blossom. I see almonds. I see trees of almonds here. While people are still sleeping in, in the year 2016, you will spring forth quickly in the name of Jesus. Your destiny shall spring forth quickly in the name of you will not you will need to wait to July. I see your destiny in this month springing forth speedily. Your healing will spring forth speedily. Shout hallelujah. He said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? Shall you not see it? Shall you not experience it? Will it not be made manifest? I will even make a road in the wilderness. Those areas of your life that look like they've been in wilderness, our God in this month is said to make a road there in the name of Jesus where it looks like there's been no direction, where it looks like it's a wilderness. Our God will make a way in your wilderness in the name of Jesus. And where it looks like rivers cannot come forth, where it looks like waters cannot flow, where it looks like it's been a very dry area, and you're wondering, is it Boho we're going to dig? What are we going to do? God is set to cause rivers to flow out of your life in the name of Jesus. Uncommon waters are going to begin to pour out of your life in this month in the name of Jesus. He will make a road in your wilderness and he will cause rivers to spring forth from your desert. Somebody shout Amen. The book of Hosea chapter 6 was still standing. Hosea chapter 6. Isaiah 43, 18, 19 says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, I will do a new thing. It's the month where he will make all things new. Hallelujah. He will make all things new. He will make all things new. He said, Behold, I make all things new. That's a prophetic word from God's servant this morning. Behold, I will do a new thing. Shall you not spring forth? Hallelujah. I will even make a road in your wilderness and rivers in your desert. Hallelujah. The book of Hosea. The book of Hosea. Chapter 6. I read from verse 1. Come and let us return to the Lord. Come in the month of March. Come and let us return to the Lord. Come, come, let us return to the Lord. For he has torn, but in this month he will heal us. He has stricken, but in this month he will bind us up. Verse 2 says, after two days, he will revive us. And on the third day, he will raise us up. That will may live in his sight. Somebody shout hallelujah. Every new month is an opportunity for God to begin something new in your life. Every new month is an opportunity for God to begin something in your life. I'm always excited when new things are about to happen. I'm excited when we begin to enter into a new year. I'm excited when we begin to enter into a new week. For every new Monday is a new season for God to touch me, to bless me. Every new month is a new season for God to do something new. So whether it was a January or a February or a June or a July, the fact that it's a new month means it's an opportunity for God to do a new thing. Somebody say hallelujah. But this month is special. I've come to talk to somebody this morning all the way from Guarimpa that the month of March is special. I said the month of March is special. I bear believers in the house this morning the month of March is your special month. 
it is the third month of the year and the third day the third month the third year the third of every and anything is usually not ordinary did you hear what i said god is not a god of coincidences god is not a god of accidents god is a god who is predetermined god is a god who plans god is a god who has set certain things in place and there's a mystery about the number three there's a mystery about the number three tell your neighbor there's a mystery about the number three he said in hosiah he said after two days he will revive us but then he said on the third day he will raise us up hallelujah it doesn't matter where you are now this is your month when god will raise you up in the name of jesus it doesn't matter what you're dealing with now but this is the month that god will raise you up in the name of Je if you're a believer in the house say amen is the month of easter when one was raised and the bible says that if that one was raised then you will be raised he said if you're still in the grave then you have no no hope no choice no chance but because he was raised on the third day on this your third month in the name that is above every name in the name of jesus so we shall be raised like him if we died with him so we shall be raised with him easter is our month of being raised in the name of jesus it was in the month this son which is our which is the jewish equivalent of of march that the jews experienced a passover and it began it, be, it, be, it became the beginning of months for them it became the beginning of years for them and i lift up my hands as the pastor of this church and i wanted to lift up your hands as well i release it upon you now may this become your passover month in the name of jesus let him become your Passover month in the name of Jesus. Say, March, you will become my Passover month in the name of Jesus. I call you March, and I declare you shall become my Passover month in the name of Jesus. You shall become for me and my household the beginning of months. You shall be for me and my family, and me and my destiny, and all that you have promised me, and all that you have planned for me. You shall become for us the beginning of months it shall become my new year it shall become my new year March beginning from this first day I command you now you shall be for me the beginning of months shall it not spring forth will you not see it shall you not shall it not spring forth will you not see it shall it not spring forth will you not see it i'm going to ask you to sit down for just five minutes because we came to pray but just to be able to establish to you that this this month of march is going to be an incredible season for somebody here in the name of jesus and anybody who decides to believe the lord is god so he shall be established and anybody who decides to believe god's prophet so you shall prosper this month in the name of jesus is somebody hearing pastor this sunday this this uh, this morning any, anybody who chooses to believe the Lord is God and mix what you're hearing this morning with faith, it will profit you and your household in the name of Jesus. And if you choose to believe his prophet, so you shall prosper in this month in the name of Jesus. The Bible is actually full of 10 days and 10 months and 10 years that are very significant. And if I was to begin to begin to read them out to you, we will not live here this morning. But I'll just read a few to you from genesis all the way to revelation the third day the third day the third month and all of them were very significant events i'm going to read a few to you it was on the third day that abraham saw the place of appointment with god the bible says on the third day he raised up his face and he saw the place of off. and i see somebody here was the halibose kaziah the things that god has shown you in your spirit it is this month that you're going to see it in the name of jesus you wake up one morning and say hey i've seen it hey that is it somebody shout hallelujah 
Was it a coincidence that it was on the third day? No. It was on the third day. The Bible says that Abraham saw the place. You will see that place this month. You will see that place this month. In the name of Jesus. It was on the third day that Pharaoh restored the butler. It was on the third day that Pharaoh restored the butler. Now remember, two men had a dream. The baker and the butler. And in the dream that the butler had, he said he saw three branches. I don't want to go into it, but when you go home, read it. Everything that was three, three. And, 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 and Joseph said to him, he said, the dream you have, he said, on the third day, on the third day, Pharaoh will hold a feast and he will restore you back to your position. Somebody this month of March, beginning from the first day of this March to the 31st, restoration will find you in the name of Jesus. Anybody that is trusting God for restoration, shout restore! The Bible says that none amongst them said restore. When every time you hear the word of restoration, say restore. Say restore. Say restore. Say restore. Has the enemy stolen anything from you? Say restore. Has he taken something from you? Say restore. Has he stolen from you? Say restore. Have you been denied of what is rightfully yours? This man said restore. Somebody struggling with your health. Say restore. Because the Bible says he will restore your health. Restore. So it was on the third day that he was restored back to his office. And that's actually a very unusual thing. In those days, they don't restore anybody. That would have been the end. But God was at work. And so in areas of your life that you think that thing would never be restored, this March, God will raise it up again in the name of Jesus. In Exodus 19, it was the third day that God promised that he would come down on Mount Sinai. He said to them, go wash your clothes. Go sanctify yourself, prepare. Because on the third day, I will come. This month of March, there will be a mighty visitation in this church in the name of Jesus. I said, this month of March, there will be... See, I came for a prophetic walk. So you better receive it. You better wake up from sleep. I said, this month of March, a visitation is coming upon this house. It's coming upon your life. It's coming upon your life. It's coming upon your life. A mighty visitation is coming. God said to them, prepare on the third day I am coming. Why not the second day? Why not the first day? He said, on the third day I will come. And indeed on the third day, God came down upon Mount Sinai. And there were thunderings. And there were lightnings. And there were fire. I see God visiting somebody this month. He will come and dwell in your house. He will come and dwell upon your destiny. Shout Amen. You know something happened to me this very early this morning. And I know it was a sign that God was showing me. I've, I've actually been a bit tired. It's just been doing so much. Mentally and physically. But you know the moment I got into 1st of March. An uncommon and unusual strength came upon me. An unusual and uncommon. You know when they say you have been revived. Without a rest. Without drinking anything. And, and you that God was using me as a sign. To say that the many of you who are here this morning. A revival is coming upon every arena of your life. Where you have become weary. Where you have become tired. Where you are beginning to say, Lord, I'm getting tired. Where somebody is planning to quit. A revival is coming. God is about to regenerate somebody. God is about to re-engineer somebody. Strength is coming in the place of weakness. So that is me. An uncommon strength. An uncommon strength. An uncommon strength. For I said, in the third day, in the second day, he will revive us. In the third day, he will raise us up. He will raise us up. He will raise us up. We're going to just quickly go through them so we can pray this morning. It was on the third day, oh, I like that, that the Amalekites brought 
Saul's crown to David as Ziklag. Oh, Jesus. If you go back and read that scripture, it's an interesting scripture. There are actually two mentions of three on the third day in that account. It was on the third day that they came to Ziklag that they went to um, raid a particular place and the Amalekites came into their camp and plundered their camp, burnt it down and took their wives and took their daughters and everything in captivity. It was on the third day. But then another third day came. And the Bible says it was on the third day after that that an Amalekite came and brought Saul's crown to David as it like. And that was the beginning of the reign of David. The crown came to David as Ziklag on the third day. I lift up my hands again. Every area of your life that God has designed that you should rule and that you should reign. Every crown that has been denied you. The place of your greatest struggle. The place of your greatest toil. The place of your greatest toil. Our God will return your crown to you in the name of Jesus. In this third month, in this match, crowns are coming to you. Somebody say, my crown is coming to me. Say, in the place of my greatest battle, in the place of my greatest struggle, my crown is coming. In the month of March, ah, come on now. Somebody say, my crown is coming. Rulership is coming. I will reign this month. I will rule this month. Especially in the area where the enemy has wounded me. Many of you have been anointed for, for many seasons. But many of you have not seen your appointments. But I know in the name that is above every name, in the name of Jesus. All of you that carry oil. All of you that carry a unique grace. And you're saying, Lord, when, Lord, when, Lord? I hear God saying to me that this is the month in the name of Jesus. I say, all of you that have visions and dreams, uh, and it looks, Lord, when will the crown come? Uh, you have anointed me, but there's no throne. Uh, you have anointed me, and there's no vacancy. You have anointed me, and I can't see the crown. Uh, the month of March uh, is the same way it came to David. Uh, on the third day, an enemy, the same Amalekite, uh, oh Jesus, uh, the same Amalekites that plundered them. Uh, when Amalekite brought a crown, uh, I release it upon your family this uh, this first day of March. Of, of in the name of Jesus, say my crown come at this month. If you're the burial church, go and check everything I'm telling you. Nothing is by accident in the word of God. Nothing is by accident. There's a mystery. There's a mystery concerning the third month. There's a mystery concerning the third day. It was in 2 Kings chapter 20. That King Hezekiah, who had been told by prophet, uh, by, by the great prophet um, Elijah, that he was going to die. And as he began to pray, he faced the wall and began to pray. And then, just as El Elijah was still in the court of the palace, God sent him to say, Go back and then hear this. He said, Tell my servant that on the third day he shall be restored. Go and read it. On the third day, he said he shall be restored and then he shall go up into the house of the Lord and the Bible says that it was on the third day that he was restored God has made a promise to you but this third day this third month this is your month this is your season this is your third day somebody says my third day are there believers in the house why third day why third day why always that day? Why didn't he say, just go and tell him it's okay? But he said, tell him, you're on the third day. Because it's a mystery. Why was his son raised up on the third day? There's a mystery. There's a mystery. There's a mystery. There's a mystery. And you know one of the powerful things about that scripture, when you read, uh, go and read about that situation, you know, Hezekiah wanted a sign. He said, Lord, I want to be sure that you're going to restore me back to life giving me an extra 15 years he says can you do something so let us say what do you want God to do he began to talk about about the sun die whether I should go backwards 10 degrees or <laughs> or forward 10 degrees and he said Lord if, you, if I ask you to 
if I ask you to fast forward, to, to move time backwards, um, to fast forward time, that, that may be um, easy for you. I'm going to ask you to do a hard thing. Cause time to go backwards for me. And then the Bible says that God again caused the sun to stand still. I see the sun, the sun that is bringing you healing this month. The light that is bringing you deliverance this season. It will stand still for you until every victory, every healing, every redemption, every restoration. It will be a sign for you this month in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout hallelujah. Somebody says, stand, stand still for me. Let my day season, let it be extended. Let my day season, let it be extended. Let my day season, let it be extended. It wasn't only, it wasn't only Joshua that made that prayer. Another man asked God, and the Bible says it has never happened in all the earth. And they went to look at the sundial of Ahaz, and they found that indeed, God had done it. God had done it on the third day. It was on the third day. In this march, time will stand still for you. Until all the victory you need this month, I command that between the, the, this first day of March to the 31st day of March, I speak as one whom God has appointed and set over you. And I declare over you that time will stand still for you. Men will wait for you. Women will wait for you. Favor will wait for you. Shout a man like thunder. The third day, the third day, the third day. The third month, March, the third month. Mm. It was on the third day uh -huh, that Esther appeared before King Ahasuerus. See, church, if I want to go into this thing, it's too many. It was on the third day. The Bible says on the third day she appeared before the court. And the king stretched forth his scepter. I said, Queen, whatever you desire, even up to half of my kingdom, on this third month of your life, on this third month of the, of the year, see, you take the one that is your own. No? Some of you are looking for common favors. You're looking for favor before kings and queens. And the Bible says that one who it was not her turn, for she has said, it is not my turn to see the king. But because it was on the third day, I lay her say, I, ah, when is not even your turn on the third day? But because it's the third day, it's the third month of the year. Hey, God will bypass men. Protocol will be broken on your behalf. I say protocol will be broken on. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Unusual promotion will find you even when you don't qualify. Why? Because it was the third day. It was the third day. That's why. When we said, you know the law. If I come before the king when it's not my turn, there's only one thing, death. But on the third day, I see something going to happen this month. For some of you, it is today. For some of you, it is today. For some of you, it is tomorrow. That is something you're not qualified for. Come, come, something you're not qualified for is the third day, and so God will bypass protocol, He will bypass those who are in front first. He will change calendar, He will put your name on the appointment list. Somebody shout hallelujah! Just sit down, sit down on the altar, sit down on the altar, sit, sit there, sit there, just sit there. It was the third day, it was the third day, it was the third day, the third day that Esther appeared before the king. It was a third day. In Esther 8, the same Esther 8, it was the third month that the king ordered that a new decree should be written. Oh, Yahaziah. In the place of the old one, we preached about this during the 21 day of prophecy. But go back to it. You will find that it was on the third month, the king ordered that everybody should, that his men should go all around Persia and issue decrees. And say, authorize the Jews. Say, anybody who attempts to hurt you, kill them first. Ayagaziah. Vengeance is coming over your life this month. Anybody who don't write your name down, say they're going to wound you. Everybody who has made an unrighteous decree. It is the month that God is releasing grace, anointing for vengeance. Come and shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Where 
where an unrighteous decree had gone forth against your life and your destiny, where an unrighteous decree to kill you, to slay you, something has emanated to kill you. It was on the third month, the same king who said it's okay to kill the Jews because 10,000 talents of silver have been given, have been paid into the treasury. The same king, he said, on the third month, on the third month, somebody said on the third month, somebody said on the third month, on the third month, on the third month. Which month be this one? What is March? What month is this? Aha! Whatever has been written against your life and your destiny. Vengeance from the Lord. Our God will turn it around. My God will turn it around. In this month of March, somebody shout hallelujah. Joshua chapter 9. It took them three days to prepare to cross the Jordan into the promised land. Joshua came and said to them, he said, prepare for three days. We are about, this thing we have been trying to do for 40 years. In three days, we will not do it. In three days. It means that thing you have been looking for, pursuing, striving, toiling, 40 years, 30 years. He said, in three days, that thing that was afar off. That thing that looked like you can go and check. That's why I'm reading the scripture so you can go. Joshua 9. He said on the third day, he says the priest carrying the ark will cross the Jordan and the waters will stop so that you can cross over. Somebody is about to cross over. I said whatever is your vision and your dream is the month of crossing over. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now church, listen to me, listen to me so that you understand what pastor is saying. Is by the prophetic word that you can access into your destiny. So I'm not just prophesying and telling you stories. Anybody who is wise here, you receive it. It's the same way Moses came and said to them, God is taking you from somewhere to somewhere. Many didn't believe, but the few that believed entered it. So God also has sent me as your Moses. And I'm telling you that this month of March, at the end of this month, you must bring pastor an offering. I, I said, because some are Yebababos. Because an uncommon and unusual. A sister here, I think she's here, was just sharing with me on Sunday. He said, Pastor, God is doing something great in my life in this church. God is already blessing me already. But he said, just, just a few days ago, they called me in my office and they gave me a huge position, bigger than the one I had before. And they said, keep the old one and keep the new position. So, Pastor, I occupy two posts in my office now. She's here. Somebody shout hallelujah. And, and it is somebody who you know because if you see the way this woman is following every word that comes from this altar. So, as I speak the word of God, I hold it. The Bible says that when they were, when they were building, you see, it's when the prophets were prophesying that, that prosperity began to come upon what they were building. So, when the prophet is speaking, whatever your business is to begin to prosper in the name of Jesus. Because you received that word of prophecy. In Ezra, the Bible said, as the prophets were prophesying, so progress began to come upon the walk. So as I speak upon you the word of God, uh, ah, is the sure word of prophecy. So your life and your destiny will change in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, it is my month. We're going to begin to pray very shortly because there are just so many of them I want to read. In Matthew chapter 8, verse 2. Okay, let me just read this because there are just so many of them. It was three days that Saul's father's missing donkeys were found. Jesus. Saul was looking for the father's donkeys. Remember him? King Saul. Remember him? The father's donkeys were what? Missing. No, no, was missing, sorry. Was missing. Antiqua and read it. It's, it's amazing. The Bible says that it was on the third day that Samuel said to him, he said, your father's Mrs. Donkeys that were lost three days ago has been found today. But there's a greater power there. Greater thing there. He says, by the way, it's not even about your father's donkeys that we're about.